What's up guys, it's your boy! Welcome back to another Pendulum video! Cause you know what, I will never quit Pendulums! And for this one we got a special one! What happens when you combine the two best decks in the world in an absolute incredibleness of a deck called Pendulum Skysucker Orchest? A deck that synergizes better than anything you could imagine! You get the extenders of pendulums with orcus cards, you get the spells of strikers, you combine them all together with 20 draw cards, and you got yourself the best deck. And friendly reminder to smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and you know what, I've done it again. This is one of my greatest creations yet. You just take Sky Striker Orcus, you throw in some servants in there, and you're resolving that servant and throw in some more draw cards, you're resolving engaged for draw every damn turn. This deck is remarkable. And you know what? If we raise enough money on stream, I'm going all the way to YCS Sydney and taking this deck with me. So without further ado, let's get straight to the video. Aha! Let's go, baby! I told you guys this is the best deck, and I'm going to be showing you guys three matches in a row. Just showing you the absolute raw power of this deck. Like, it is the everything you have in Sky Orcus. Like, you got the whole Orcus engine. You have all the engage, you have more draw power than any deck in history with this deck, and you draw it to engage more than you'll ever imagine. You're basically playing a 20 card deck. Like you're playing Blue Boy Engine, you're playing everything. And then you play Servants, they also take advantage of all the spell cards, and you play ext Pendulum Extenders like Chronograph, Abductor, cr uh, Curtain Razor, and uh, one Curtain Razor to search it. But you put it all together, and they all just sit and drive so well. Extenders for Orcus, spells for Servants, spells for Engage. Spells to get into the Orcus cards. It is basically a more consistent version of Pendulum and a more consistent version of Orcus with a more powerful board than Pendulum. And it offers three dimensions to the deck that is just unbeatable. And going second is remarkable because Engage gives you a whole other level with the deck going second. So I'll show you guys three duels now. Both three matches, both going first and going second. That really doesn't matter. So you look at our hand here, like this is just a very typical hand. Now you're going to notice every hand looks broken, but. Every hand is broken. That's the crazy part. I was theorizing this deck and really just, I was doing test hands and I noticed every hand is broken. Like, he's playing uh, Orcus over here, Sky Orcus. This will be a free win. Uh, the matchup with this is just so remarkable. Like, you know, if you're playing Pure Pen and if Pen, uh, Orcus is going first out of Babel, Top of Logic for like four pops, you're going to lose without siding. You can't deal with. Uh, this is Top of Logic uh, for four cents plus a, a back row. Like, bro, that's too much. But now, you're not playing pure Pendulum, and if you're playing pure Orcus, you also die here. If you're playing pure Striker, you die here. But you just get the best that all three engines have to offer in a crazy way that synergizes. You're playing a huge Orcus engine when you didn't draw into them, but that's what all the draw cards are for. So you notice Engage here, right? You notice Upstart here, right? You notice Into the Void and Allure, right? So you have three spells in Grave for Servant and Engage to Resolve, and Cerberus is clearing the board and forcing an interruption right off the bat. So we're going to serve it here first. I should have Cerberus to bait out a Crescendo just in case. But I saw this hand and I was like, you know what? I can play this in any order I want and still obliterate him. And I do realize my end goal was to draw into a Mighty Master and have Cerberus as like a little mid mid turn plan to store counters. But So we go serve it here first. So he sets a Crescendo. If I don't like Crescendo in Orcus, okay? Because Babel's turn one play, right? And then you set Crescendo. Now I know this is not Crescendo. Now I know this is a dead, an imperm or a return or some or yeah probably orchestrated return or an imperm or some dead card or maybe like a sky trigger card but I'm not even scared of this card at this point I know that this is not crescendo so that's why I don't like it you don't play around I don't have to clip it, play around crescendo now but now I'm simply just gonna activate all my draw cards they're all master like all the deck is is extenders like Cerberus servants and draw cards and engage and orcus cards like. That's all the deck is, so it's impossible to draw bad cards. So, you're going to keep going here. He's going to send Skeleton to get ready for when the third ca card comes out for his Servant. Activate Mastery, get the Mighty Master, so now Cerberus will be live to pop everything later in the turn. And he's going to chain IP. And I'm like, oh, wait a second, you're going second. You're playing Striker cards, no problem. I'm going to let him discard a card. Discard a card, steal. <laughs> like, it, like, this deck is remarkable. Like, I can't say this enough. So now I negate that to take that. I understand it'll stop my engage from resolving, but this this I had an intention to put cards on board to force him to activate all of his interruptions and then allow me to later in the turn use engage. That's the beauty of engage in this deck. You just link away and do it anytime you want. So now his only interruption left is a Dengirsu and a random unknown. 
So with this hand, I don't care what it is. I'm gonna now I'm gonna go. Uh, he goes scout right out. He kind of let servant resolve because he's gonna lose. So I'm like, you know what, dude, no problem. I'm gonna let him do that. Next, I go into Cerberus, Jackal, Cerberus, and yes, uh, I should have. You could have arguably make the case for using Jackal, Cerberus, and then alluring away. But if I don't want, to, didn't draw a dark. I did not want to get rid of the Mighty Master just in case I drew into more spells. I could do some more cool plays. But the card that I did draw didn't let me extend. So I'm, mean, you know, I'm gonna get rid of the Mighty Master. Now I'm gonna have Cerberus, and uh, also getting rid of the Dingirus was fine because I'm gonna get Widow and steal the Dingirus anyways, and that's gonna go into my Orcus combo and Dingir swing himself. He, at this point, he doesn't know I'm playing Orcus. Uh, I thought that was Appaloosa. So now going into Appaloosa means that his hand trap is useless. So this is going to be free. Uh, at this point now, you just see how free this is. I activate Engage. And this is after... I meant to use Servant first. This is a huge misplay on this hand. I realized how broken this hand was. I'm like, you know what? I even forgot to even use a Servant there. So that was a big a mistake. So Servant should have one counter if I had a brain. Uh, and uh, anyways, I go Kagari next. Add back to Engage. Or sorry, the Widow because we're out of target. So we add back the Widow. Because now we're going to Widow this and steal one of his cards and really do whatever we want at this situ at this point. Uh, so that has one. It should have three, but it's going to get three anyway. It doesn't matter. I did not normal summon yet on this turn. So at this point, I normal summon the hard pour. You guys did not notice how broken this is. Like, you uh, you could normal a math and lose, right? But a lot, you're allowed to put Orcus in a return now in this deck. You play a bunch of Orcus cards. All you do is normal or pendulum summon the Orcus cards. And now we've done so much. We cleared all of his interruptions. And now we just normal summon Harpoor to go into Galatea. Like, this is insane what this deck actually does. So, at this point, I'm, I'm OTKing him. This is probably a dead striker card. I, in retrospect, could pop that. But I'm like, I'd rather pop the Babel here. So, I end up popping the Babel to ensure I'm getting the OTK off. Because you can harp and do some other stuff. I just want to ensure that he's getting his ass OTK. Next, we go into Galatea. And now I'm going to steal the Dengirsu as well as his card. And uh, really, could do whatever I want at this point. I, did, I get the Masquerade just in case he has some crazy stuff going on. Servant is going to have three counters from this. And I'm going to be able to resolve the Servant. He doesn't have an Ash because he would have used the Ash. And now you see just how broken it is. And I didn't Orcus combo yet. And I cleared his all his board with no Orcus combo. I have Mighty Master to stop this interruption. There's no way any hand trap. Uh, the, he would have uh, Nibiru me already. And no one plays Nibiru main deck. So don't play around it. More times... like. You, you will gain more out of it in like a 10 round event by not playing around Nibiru game one uh, by putting up a lackluster board. Uh, so it's all Mighty Master is 100% correct in the situation. Now I'm going to activate the fact of Harport and he gets Skullmeistered. So I'm like, oh, I did not see that Skullmeister coming at all. In retrospect, Jackal might have been the correct play. But I'm like, you know what? This is free anyways. It could still be a striker card just in case Mighty Master is good to have there. So I'm like, you know what? This is still free. I didn't activate any of these cards yet. Harp is banished. I can use my Galatea now. And you get Orchestrated Return, which I did not use yet in the turn. And Orchestrated Return in a Pendulum deck is the absolute nuts. Because now we can draw into Scales. He uses Widow on the Galatea, realizing where this is going. And just like that, like I didn't even use an Orcus combo yet. He's left with two cards with uh, one Harp Anchor, which is nothing. And I'm going to destroy him. So I'm going to negate his Widow Anchor with the Mighty Master. Uh, now this offers something that Sky Orcus can't do and something that pe that, that Pendulum can't do, which is extend past the Pendulum. Uh, I didn't even Pendulum Summon yet. Like This is without a Pendulum Summon. This is insane. I did this without a Pendulum Summon. And so what I'm going to get, we're going to bounce back the Slave into our hand. Mathematically speaking, we have more high scales and low scales. So we're going to use Orcs in return, send the Dengirsu to draw two, and we have the IP Masquerina to go into Boral Sword, or just in case we don't draw a scale, to play more stuff. Again, I didn't even put the Servant right away. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Uh, so I draw two. I'm like, okay. Uh, I look at this hand. I'm like, uh, this. <laughs> he's going peace. I'm like, okay, bro, do your thing. This is where the big brain plays come in handy. We don't use Spellbook uh, Knowledge yet. We did not use it in this turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to link away Galatea and this into Witch, We Witch Apprentice. And then we're going to get Blue Secrets and Knowledge. Knowledge you could use on any single Spellcaster card that goes to the graveyard. So what a big brain play here. We're leaving IP just in case uh, as a follow-up. Just in case we don't get the uh, high skill. But the whole deck is just high skills left. Like you got to look at the deck and know what you have remaining. And we get Chronograph. We, get, we go to the Void here, get another card, and you see just how much you're extending here. Like, it's insane. Like, we drew one, two, three, four. We drew off this. We drew uh, off Engage again. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, ten times we drew this turn, and we didn't even use Electrum yet in this turn. And we drew ten times. We didn't even Pendulum Summon yet. And now we're going to Pendulum Summon. And you just see now how, just how broken this is. 
and you just go Moral Sword OTK here, and you negate any possible thing he has with Jackal, just in case he has something else, and it's an easy OTK. Uh, you see how broken this is. Now, if you look at the look at the uh, graveyard, look at the deck and extra deck. How can you brick? Everything just summons itself on field, and you sky Orcus. It's impossible to brick. The only, well, the worst times, the worst hands when you can't pendulum summon. When you can't pendulum summon, you have three striker cards and two Orcus cards. Like, you're gonna win anyways. You have full topologic combo with striker cards. So now we're gonna let him do his thing here. He goes Kagari. I'm like, yo, like, this hand, like, you drew Gazer, it doesn't matter. You're still gonna destroy him. Like, this, this deck is just uh, ridiculous. So now you notice how, what the deck does. I don't want this to be a 30 minute video, so the rest of the video I'm just going to go fast forward the whole way through. If Orcus combo again with engage in hand, I'm like, okay, this is going to be easy as hell. We go Jackal, and then he goes Crescendo on the Jackal, I'm like, that's absolutely no problem. Uh, we're going to keep going here. As you see, notice a little, notice how much you're drawing here. Notice a little uh, uh, pattern, draw, draw into engage. You're just drawing engage, you're playing a 25 card deck with the spellbook cards, and you just draw into engage like it's nothing. Like this deck is ridiculous. Activate engage. We're gonna keep drawing here. Activate hornet. I'm like, I'm gonna destroy this guy. Even dead draws time gazer and a skeleton. Like, yeah, like you just can't brick with this. Like, even if you can't pendulum something, you're resolving servant here. You're resolving everything in, on your hand. Like, this is insane what this deck does. And now at this point, he sank thumbs with on the hornet. I'm like, damn, that is so sad that I got sank thumbed on the hornet. But I'm like, you know what? I could still OTK him. That is absolutely no problem. So, he Sanctums me. But I'm like, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Crescendo, Sanctum, I'm still OTKing your ass. Absolutely no problem. So, and he obviously goes Crescendo there because he's scared of system down and stuff. But, uh, would you also play three of in this deck? Going second is so easy to draw into it. So, we go Lore. We're going to keep going here. I want to draw into Mighty Master to clear his board. And then activate Servant and go for an easy OTK. So as you see, you're just going to keep drawing. The deck just draw, 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 draw. It's all the deck does. Draw, draw. You're going to eventually draw into Mighty Master. Uh, it just, uh, uh, like, it, it, you can't not draw into it. Draw into it and engage. You see just how broken this deck is. So we're going to... Uh, under uh, We drew into Mighty Master there. You have a dead secret. It's a big deal. Uh, and then you just go... The deck's remarkable. Like, this deck is insane. And now we're going to Mighty Master pop his whole field. And then Pendulum Summon... Uh, and then win. So I'm gonna Pendulum Summon first, and then I'm gonna use Mighty Master Effect to pop this and the token. We're using Servant and uh, another card, uh, bring out Cerberus, banish the Scythe, and attack for game for like 10,000 attack, because Scythe the Cerberus is gonna be 5,000 attack. And then I'm gonna get absolutely cocked here where he ashes the Servant. And he did warn me, he's like, oh, uh, I have, uh, can you use Ash, and, uh, can you use Servant again if it gets Ashed? I thought he was baiting me because he was playing good throughout the tournament. Or sorry, throughout the game. So I thought there's no way he doesn't actually would know that. But we got cucked there uh, by that. And we can't link summon everything to use the engage. So we're left with the engage. Sanctum definitely hurts this deck. But sometimes you can OTK through the Sanctum. It is, you can OTK through Sanctum, Crescendo, and Ash. So we clear his board easily. I'm like, okay, we survive here. We just auto win. And then uh, he had a full Orcus combo. Uh, the thing I meant for the... the Mighty Master to negate the crescendo. Then he gets to engage, and then it was just uh, spawning out of control. There, so we lose that one. But he could have easily won that. It was just like it just goes to show how broken the deck is that we almost won through Sanctum. So now you're gonna see this hand. Uh, like we draw our bricks, like knowledge or hard draw knowledge. Like this is bad. You don't want to see any of this. You don't wanna. You don't even want to open Orcus. You know, like, opening Orcus cards is great as well, but it's fine. You'd rather open it later. And he's gonna show you how much this deck extends. I do a little play there. That's like I get Nibiru. So I'm like, damn, look at that. So I just got Nibiru there. And that's sad. I got Nibiru. Like, uh, I could have set up the Jackal, but I got too greedy. I'm like, uh, no one plays Nibiru to be honest. Why would you play Nibiru against Pendulum? So I got way too greedy for that play. But I'm like, you know what? Wait a second. I'll just normal summon Harp War. Go into Phoenix. Uh, banish Harp. And do a full Orcus combo with, Ke like, and it's ridiculous. I was so greedy there that I could have easily played around Nibiru with the Jackal and still auto win the game. Uh, normal harp and just win the game and do jackal appalooza full orcus combo and all this hand traps will be useless but like i said i'm like no one plays around plays it but this is game three maybe i should have played around it just in case he did play it but you know, it's pendulum it is useless so here you're gonna keep drawing and it's what the deck does it's just draw 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 notice something engage for three like this deck is ridiculous like even through auto that like he nibiru for, for i couldn't stop the nibiru against pendulum that's an auto win 
But like, okay, this is crazy. I'm gonna draw into scales, of course, but we got unlucky. We just drew into more circuit cards and more Orcus and Nightmare Blue White cards. So you can't patch on someone this turn. But hey, guess what? <laughs> Who cares? You have full striker stuff. You have full Orcus combo set up for next turn. You're gonna have Nightmare and Harp and Grave. So I'm like, this is free. Yeah, you couldn't get the Bob or Crescendo, whatever we have in here now. But you have next turn, your Orcus cards is gonna save you. And you have all striker cards in your uh, set. And live, and the gears of control time. So even though you can't pen something, it doesn't matter. So yeah, uh, we're gonna get. Rid of, so he's gonna harp, no problem. Uh, uh, yeah, get rid of world one, steal the nightmare. He has no plays now. I'm like, okay, now we win. Uh, activate harp. Now we're just gonna easily destroy him at this point. Now we're playing control. I don't know why we put the crescendo in this area. I just love the scales, obviously. And now you just play orcus control at this point. Obviously with scales, we just got unlucky and didn't draw scales with our 20 million draw cards. But it's fine. That's not what the deck does. Yeah, uh, the deck 99% of the time will pendulum summon, but at times where it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You just put Orcus control. And then when it does, you play Striker control. Like turn one was Striker control with the Gears to one field. And now you're playing Orcus control. And now at this point, what I should, this was a misplay, what I did here. I should have linked this away. And I was scared of like a lot of hand traps or like tra real trap, call by the grave, stuff like that. I should have linked this away and resolved the engage to draw. But I'm like, you know what? You're at such a huge advantage right now that it doesn't even matter what you do. You can easily play just a controlled version and not do too much in case you die by call by the grave. And you just auto win at that point. So I'm going to let him do his thing here. And if he's normal anything, I just crescendo away the Orcus card. He can't clear away the Galtea. Use the effect protect. And he just win. So now uh, this is, is very long at this point. It is already 15 minutes. So I'm going to fast forward the rest of the way. It's going to be a long video. Uh, I want to show you guys just how broken this is. So the rest of the way is going to fast forward through everything to show you how broken it is and the fact that the deck just doesn't brick. The last game was the biggest brick we had and it ended on striker control. Like the best striker has to offer with the gear on field, full orcus cards in grave. And like it's just incredible what the deck does. You just know the deck just draws like crazy. You draw into, Do you notice that? We just went to engage to draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We drew seven times and then drew into engage with the servant. Like, do you guys have any idea how broken that is? And when you draw the Orcus card, you just pendulum summon them and straight up just auto it, engage again. You notice how busted this is? We have nine cards. Look, four, eight. We have ten cards on field. We didn't pendulum summon or resolve servant yet. We have eight cards in hand. This is ridiculous. You're going to play around all hand traps by utilizing Money Master on the Servant. Like, do you have any... The Servant had 14 counters. That's ridiculous. Servant had 14 fucking counters. Holy shit. Now, our Electrum is going to be safe forever. You go kind of uh, to protect yourself from hand traps because you make the Electrum like that. Jackal and Money Master protect. Uh, pop the Kina. Doesn't matter. Get that. Link into anything. Alistair's good. It's good to have random links that go down just because how good the deck is. You do have some extra deck space. Look at that. Now, uh, Appaloosa... Time Gazer, full Orcus combo. Like, do you, have, do you see how broken this is? If I, I don't even do the correct play here. I should have linked away one of the Jackals to make Mascarena uh, to make all your striker cards live. So this is even a little bit of a misplay, but I didn't care because, like, no one's breaking this. So Crescendo, Widow, Shark Cannon. What I should have done was, uh, and you play one of Babel or Crescendo. I go back and forth with them. Uh, whatever. Like, only play one of them and one return. Like, this deck's ridiculous. Like, we don't want to use Skeleton. What I should have done here was Skeleton... I should, this should be Bobble, so skeleton or whatever, even Crescendo is fine. Skeleton, special Harpoor, Harpoor, and Jackal into IP Mascarena. Now, uh, when Jackal negates something with Jackal, negates something with Crescendo, negates something with Money Master, and then there's four cards left on field, Mascarena, uh, everything away with the Appaloosa into something else, and then you have your second cards live, like, yep, Infinity neg negates. Like, you have three, four, five, six, like, seven, eight, nine, like, oh my god. And the second cards are great for follow up as well, and the seven will be their follow up. So, we're gonna let him do his thing here. We're playing Pure Pendulum. Uh, or playing against uh, Endymion Pendulum here, Pure Endymion. So this is gonna be free, bro. Like uh, we just have to hope. You know, it doesn't matter what. Like this deck's amazing. Look at this hand too. You draw two Orcus cards. It doesn't matter. Like you're gonna resolve Servant. Like Servant just the best extender in the game. Servant gives you a, an extender to summon with Orcus cards with, and it gives you a Mighty Master to, to protect all your hand traps or your cards for hand traps. Normal Gazer. He has Secret Village, but no way to stop my normal summon Spellcaster. And now he just loses. Auto loses. Like. I'm going to destroy him. Uh, summon. Summon. Use Jackal. Destroy your whole board. Attack for game. Like, it's just too easy how, how e uh, it's incre incredible how easy it is. The only way you're going to lose is if you get Sanctum. Floodgates are usually easy to deal with too. We almost OTK through the Sanctum. Now we're facing the creator of Sky Orcus himself, my boy Milano. I'm showing him how broken this deck is. telling him, you know, let's play it together. And yeah, like, you just draw into everything. Like, the deck's amazing. I know we open double engage, but the deck just draws into it. He ashes the engage. I'm like, no problem. 
And, like, the deck is just broken. Like, the deck's ridiculous. If you don't open engage, you join to engage. Why would you not want to utilize the best card in the game and engage? Uh, well, not best card in the game, but one of the best. And it is so damn good. I'm going to show you guys some cool combos here where you're going to go, with, like, Saryuja here. Again, don't play around, around Nibiru game one. And it is broken. Look at how amazing this is. I can't even begin to explain how amazing it is. Freak out. It. Like, look how broken that is. Like... And he sees what he ha had to deal with there. That was like double Mighty Master, double Jackal, full Orcus combo. That was ridiculous. And now here going second. We're facing Orcus, Sky Orcus. You play, the whole deck is draw cards. So you just play auto win cards like System Down. You, like, the hand has no pendulums in it. It doesn't matter. Like, if you drew a pendulum, it's a, a pendulum like Curtain Razor. It puts a monster on field to use Harpoor with. Or a Chronograph. Or a Servant. Right? It's like cards that just help you. They're not cards that are dead by themselves. The reason why a hybrid pendulum deck sucked before is because it sucked to draw the cards together. But you're almost playing Sky Orcus with the pendulum engine, but allowing you to pendulum summon easily. And if you resolve Servant once, you're pendulum summoning every time. Because if Electrum resolves, you're pendulum summoning. That just how this deck is just absolutely ridiculous. This is going to open whatever he wants to here. He doesn't have enough interruptions to go crescendo instead of babble. He doesn't have enough interruptions to deal with it. I just sit him down him. Look, like this is broken. It doesn't matter what he could do. And you're going to keep drawing. So he, he now he just has one hand trap left. He showed me later it was Nibiru. Uh, so he discards to get the world one in there. You keep drawing. You see his draw power. Keep drawing. Keep drawing. Look at that. Double engage. Why? With three spells. How do you get that? By drawing. It's not luck that you're drawing the engage. It's the fact that you're playing a 25 card deck. Obviously you're going to see the engage multiple times. So yeah, I show him double engage and harp. And he's like, yo, I can't deal with that. Uh, Nibiru would have done nothing, and he would just keep drawing, 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 and, like, it's just broken, and it's a win over there, and, like, it, the deck is just remarkable, like, there's no follow-up either, just World 1, which we're gonna deal with easily, it was Shark Cannon that, and there's nothing you could possibly do to, to win, so that's a deck, guys, this deck's amazing, shout out to Milano for creating Sky Orcus, hope he plays Pen Sky Orcus with me, this deck's insane, the deck profile I will show you guys, uh, uh, later, maybe on Monday, I'll be showing you guys the deck profile in depth, but the deck's amazing, Play it, check it out, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.